Well, a very warm welcome to you on this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful. Perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well. No doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this deck of the woods. It surely must be. This place simply a monument to the game. So much prestige, so much pride, so much passion whenever football is played here. for a 3-5-2 here, Jim. Well, this system, Peter, allows for a really expansive passing game. If your centre-backs can play, then you see lots of diagonal switches to the wing-backs, and it all makes for a stylish, attractive bundle. However, its biggest weakness are those gaps between centre-backs and wing-backs, and with quick enough movement from the opposition, that can cause lots of trouble. Away we go then. McKelly. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Marco Verratti. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Former. Mata. Sergio Ramos, Feinaldum, Hakimi, and it's Messi, Feinaldum, Messi, Messi, drilled it, goes for goal! That's gone a long way up and away. but not much of one. Di Maria. Oh, shooting chance! A real chance and a real let-off. Hakimi certainly caught it well enough, but that was never really going to trouble the keeper. to the other flank McKelly cuts it out Bruges 
are playing with a pleasing wind here, especially that front line. Is it working for you? Um, it's not movement for the sake of it, and yes, it is working for me. There's a purpose to, to create space. McKelly does well there, alert. Marco Verratti. Mata gets it back. Former. This is quite a run and he's not done yet. Beautifully done. And the finish! A collective sigh of relief from the defence. Played it short. Messi. Messi tries running with the ball at his feet. Oh, he's broken through. Big chance! A potential goal of the season contender, if only. Messi just backs himself every time. Give him a challenge and he rise to it. Gets himself into trouble and he's lost it. Hakimi with the slide tackle there. Di Maria. Di Maria plays it forward. And that's a throw in. And it's Di Maria. Oh, that's a foul, and the whistle's gone. Gets the ticking off and needs to be very careful now. He just needs a really close shave and the last action of the first half. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goalless. The midway point of the game. What an end to the half, Peter. Uh, a lot of the best action of the half coming at at the very end and I get the feeling the second half may well start in, in it's Neymar oh that's magnificent yeah and they may well have set their sights on an early second half goal but it still needed a top player to produce a magical finish and he may well need to conjure up another to add a little comfort to to this narrow advantage oh my goodness that has ripped the rigging well, the technique generates the power in that situation, and once power is assured, any goalkeeper's up against it. A 1-0 lead established. Well, listen, a few words of advice and encouragement from the manager during the break can often straighten things out, and it's paid off here. And the shot! mistake two up and threatening to pull clear well that defense just wasn't expecting their midfield to mess up then so when they did they were caught completely cold by such a swift breakaway and such a well-worked finish too Paris Saint-Germain get themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt will be looking to, to cause even more damage here. It's a goal kick. Paris Saint-Germain are two up. Mata gets into a dangerous position. 
Marco Verratti. Bruges uh, keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. Ritz. Played out to the right. Peter, we can only applaud that quality of tackle in the circumstances. It was probably goal-saving. Dira. And it's played forward. Now a chance to break. Dira. He's pinged one through here. Oh, that's a foul in a dangerous area. The referee's come over. It's a red card. Well, the players are flocking round their fallen colleague and they look worried. Paris Saint-Germain are oh, down to ten men. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then. A forward pass. Mbappe has created one goal already. Mbappe drives it forward. And it's Dira. Battles to win it back. Forma. Hits one! Oh, should have put that away. Yeah, this is part of the job. Head down and keep plugging away. Format plays it short. Just brushed off the ball there. Fine Aldum. Mbappe. Now it's Neymar. That's just an example of overcommitting, and they're fortunate for the quality of the intervention. It was vital. Gets away from his opponent. Is there any support? He has a pop! Goal at his mercy, and somehow he's missed it. Oh, well intercepted. Really alert to the danger. Former. Loose ball. Who's going to get there? And it's Bernat. Great run on the overlap here. He gets past his man. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. Goes for goal. And it's there! And they are pulling clear here. I can give the keeper a little sympathy here because I think he might have been slightly unsighted. However, credit where it's due, it's still a fine finish from a tight spot. Paris Saint-Germain take a three-goal lead and they are romping out of sight. Dost out towards the flank. Shapes to shoot! And that may well be that. That is that. Paris Saint-Germain a class apart. Opponents torn apart. They are comprehensive winners. Your final thoughts, Jim? Yeah, 